Here's part three of my interview with Corpse Grinder. You know, making a record during a pandemic, you've done a lot of records, but never like this. What were some of the new challenges in, in everything from the writing, the recording to the rehearsing of it? We finished our last tour at the end of last uh, 2019. And that's when everything started hitting. We had planned last year to be off. We were not going to be doing anything. We were going to be doing the new album, writing and doing the new record. So uh, nothing really changed. I mean, especially for me, I came in when the, when, when the songs were finished, you know, when the guitars and the drums were done. Alex lives, you know, uh, not in Florida anymore. And so he did his bass separately. So usually it's guitar or drums, guitars, bass, vocals, solos. You know, Alex basically had his songs, put drum machine to it, you know, sent them to us. <clears throat> Paul, of course, puts his tweaks in. And then, you know, everyone learns the, the riffs. I learned the lyrics and then that's it. We didn't really do much different except for that Alex wasn't there. <clears throat> when we recorded his songs, usually he wants to be there. You know, like Paul, if Paul wrote some lyrics or Rob wrote lyrics, they all want to be there when I'm doing them. You know, un unbelievably, knock on wood, you know, we've, this whole thing has been not so bad for us. And it's been bad for a lot of people, you know, I know, but we've gotten lucky. Luckily, you have FaceTime and all those things. That's kept, helped keep some sanity going in these times, you know, all the, to the technology we have. Like if this happened in like 1990, man, it would just, you know, I mean, look, I'm, I am also glad that I'm home with, with the wife and the kids, you know, and I've had plenty of time to sit around and get fat and play Warcraft, you know, which of course, you know, Horde! Is, yeah, man, I got some stuff somewhere behind me. I got a bunch of stuff behind me, but you know, there's some more crap stuff there, figures and shit. Dude, I love I love the collecting. It's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I see man. you got you got some cool shit on your shelves. I see the Thanos. I see the figurines, man. I love collectibles, man. I love and one Thanos. Shit. He's got the Infinity Gauntlet in the in the down hand, and he's holding the Cosmic Cube in the other. So that's and those dope. are those are the comic book versions of Thanos. The Gauntlet has the correct color and placement of the gems. None of that I'm, movie shit. I'm a douchebag about that. No, let me say this much. I love. I did like Infinity War. There's differences. It's the Marvel universe. It's just, you know cinematic universe. It's how it is. But nobody, nothing, in my opinion, in books, in movies, are ever going to top that. For villain, that is the all-time villain to me. The comic book Thanos is the all-time greatest villain. Fuck you, Darth Vader, Voldemort, and these other go go right to hell. That is, he is the best. I'm serious. I mean, I was 20, around 20 when the Infinity Gauntlet came out and whatnot, but I collected them all. And, you know, I have the first appearance of Thanos and all that stuff. So I just feel the need to let that be known that I did like Infinity War. I did like a lot of the Marvel movies. I love them. Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron. I fucking love those movies. Even though there are gripes I have because of the discrepancies with the comics. I went and saw Infinity, uh, uh, Avengers Endgame. I like it. I haven't watched it since. There's my protest right there. That's my protest against that fucking movie because it's terrible, man. It's terrible. They should have just ended it at Infinity War. <laughs> just ended it with Thanos having killed half the universe. You've brought up Warcraft a bunch of times, and I know that literally every single interview you've done since you put Fuck the Alliance in the liner notes, I'm sure every nerd fucking asks you about WoW. But so I'm, I'm gonna ask you a different thing. We know about the Horde tattoo. We know about we know about the corpse grinder character. We know about fuck the alliance. Please, you're, since we're doing this while you're at home, can I see the Frostmourne sword? This is this is one of my prized possessions. Oh, that is so fucking badass. I mean, dude, this thing is heavy as shit. This will if I ran somebody through with this, they're toast. This is one of my greatest. Possessions. I will say that they're one of the Thanos, both of those Thanos statues. If you can notice back this way, that helmet, that's uh, the helmet of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. I'm a nerd, dude. I'm, I'm 100%. I'm just going to sit this on the floor. Don't step on it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, I collect a lot of nerdy stuff. See behind me, there's a hammer there. That's Thor's hammer. That's awesome. And if you see on the other side, Thor's helmet is the there. helmet. Yeah, dude. So I have a lot of geeky nerd stuff. You know, it's okay. what I. Spend money on. Uh, dude, Corpse Grinder, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for taking so much time out of your day to man, do no an interview slash bro down slash hang slash talk shit. This yeah, has been man, awesome. Man. No problem.